In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire up a flasher signal for directional lights, like for your blinker, for a side-by-side -side or ATV vehicle, just the basics of how this kind of circuit works. So I have a 12 volt supply that's fused. I believe I've got a 5 amp fuse there that's in line. The black and white striped line is hooked to the negative. That comes over to this plug. It's an SAE wire harness. You can Google that if you want to get one of those. And basically, I've hooked the black up to the uh, white and black striped line and the red up to the other one. So I've got my positive and my negative. And they come over to my flashing relay. So this little device here is uh, going to produce a signal. Notice how it automatically has a black and negative wire hooked onto it. It's because it has to be powered. And then it will produce a signal out this little extra leg. So there's a little letter L on there. It's kind of hard to see, but it is there. There's a plus and a minus and an L. So L is where your load's going to go. And that will give us a flashing positive signal out of here. So we're going to take this yellow and we're going to hook it on right there. And that's going to go over to our switch. And while we're at it, we do have a right and left. So uh, we'll just go ahead and take this so that we're hooking them up together. So we have a twin set up on each side. And now let's follow that yellow line so the electricity can go to the switch. And this is just a normally open switch. It has some extra wires jumpered because it has flashing lights and does different things and it's a maintained, but it's no different than a regular wall switch at your home. So if you take a look at it right now, the switch is closed, which means normally open, which means it can't pass electricity. That's what NO is when you see that. So my power can go through the yellow wire, through the switch once the button is pushed, and then out here through the red line to these black wires. Notice how both lights have a black and a white line. These are LEDs. They only let power flow one way. If you were to hook this onto a battery, the white needs to go on the negative and the black has to go on the positive on this particular style of light because it's a diode. If you were to reverse polarity, these lights will not light up. So positive's got to go flow, uh, is going to flow down this black wire through the light and then head out towards... Uh, the common where all of the white wires all hook together. So these lights are also hooked up. The whites and the blacks are all connected um, independently of each other. So all of the whites together, then all of the blacks, and they come off to a red wire just like on the other switch. Um, so just an identical setup for right and left. Well that leaves us with one wire left. So let's come back here and the wire flows out of this white wire. And this has got to go back to negative because we have positive coming off of the load. So you can go right back to the battery. You could go to this terminal and you could go to this black terminal right here too. So that's directly right off of the battery essentially. And now we're producing a flashing blinker light. Now if I were to turn that off and here's my right one, that's why you've got your front and your rear. Now because I've got this set up this way with these button switches, I can also hit both of them and that gives me hazard. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope that that helps you to understand how to wire up one of these circuits.